Good evening guys. This is Garonami. Once again, thanks for taking your time this evening to watch this video. As always, visit my website at www.kgpal.com that is www.kgpal.com where we have posted hundreds of videos that challenges your world view. We discuss Darwinism, science and technology and uh, various religions and worldviews, all kinds of stuff. So please take time to visit our website sometime today. Tonight I want to talk about a new fossil evidence presented at the Geological Society of America in Houston, Texas by a Ohio State University professor. So this evidence is very new and uh, this story is actually released to the press just recently by Ohio State University and uh, the professor, Professor Lauren Babcock is professor of earth sciences at Ohio State University and he was turning over samples from a Nevada outcrop when he found a series of small parallel impressions that looked like dots. And he found them in the year 2000 and uh, the research has actually continuing. And the fossil finding was presented on October 5th, 2008. And what is so astonishingly shocking is some of these fossils which came from pre-cambrian period they have the footprints of a small marine multi-limbed animal now why does it shock darwinian foundations let me give you a small introduction in darwinism timeline around 530 million years ago there was Cambrian explosion. Before Cambrian explosion the living organisms are in the form of microbes. After Cambrian explosion the living organisms are more complex and more uh, matured and more highly organized. So small microbes turned into highly organized complex organisms after the Cambrian explosion. So Cambrian explosion is like one big elevation, one rapid transformation in the successive stages of uh, evolution. And Darwinism posits that the fossils that are found after Cambrian explosion they should have more complex organisms and the fossils found before Cambrian explosion should have only microbes. And this finding is just confronting that notion head on because what Professor Lauren Babcock found was that some of these marine animals, their fossil footprints are from pre-Cambrian era. You see, that's a big blow to Darwinian hypothesis. Professor, Professor Babcock, let me quote what he said. Scientists once thought that it was primarily microbes and simple multicellular animals that existed prior to the Cambrian, but that notion is changing. So, that notion is changing. I mean microbes that existed before Cambrian explosion suddenly became complex. And you see guys small microbes they need very precise addition of genetic material. A very very complex material in order to do that transformation. And for that kind of transformation happening in such a short time is just unbelievable. Even Charles Darwin recognized that. And he said that is a major setback to the theory of evolution. That's what is happening now. 
more complex organisms are being found in the fossils from Precambrian period. So it looks like that complex organisms existed since the beginning and that a death blow to Darwinian theory because Darwinian theory says that simple organisms became complex over millions and millions of years. Nonsense. Why? Because all over the fossils we have complex fossils. In all layers of fossils, I mean the sedentary rocks, they are bearing all kinds of animals in complex form. So Darwinism is just pure nonsense right when you look into the fossil record. Darwinism looks very good when you think in your mind that simple things getting more mutations than becoming more mature then getting more mutations becoming more mature it looks good in the mind but if you go into the field and observe the actual fossils you are going to face a set block, set block to that kind of thinking because complex organisms are seen in even in pre-cambrian rocks and mutations which are basically loss of genetic material are not going to make a new edition. You see, we have this financial crisis on the Wall Street. Did it happen in one day? No. Over long, long periods, losses accumulated. And those losses accumulated resulted in a financial crisis, not in some kind of higher evolution going into a financial growth. So growth does not come from losses. So losses, mutations, does not going to bring any change. And this Professor Lauren Babcock's discovery from Nevada is going to be a big blow to Darwinian thinking. But for us Christians, it's not at all a problem because we believe that God created all animals at the same time. So it is reasonable to predict that all kinds of fossils will be found in fossil rocks all over the world. And in fact, that is precisely what is happening. We are finding fossils of highly complex organisms in all kinds of fossil layers all over the world where fossils are studied by paleontologists. And that's a great evidence that we can trust the Word of God, the Bible, the Word of God. It, it said, God said what exactly happened. And God-hating secular scientists with so-called credentials going around making nonsensical theories they fail when you actually look into the fossil evidence. And you can explore more on uh, Darwinism on our website. Please go to www.kgpaul.com and uh, click on Creationism versus Evolution. And you can actually browse through literally tens of videos explaining scientific evidences that contradict the basic assumptions of uh, Darwinian theory of evolution. Thank you. Have a good night.